Howdy guys, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you're coming from. My name is Travis Compton and today we're going to do another Improve Your Presentation. This time we're going to be talking about adding checkboxes to your PowerPoint slides. It's not as intuitive as it might seem, so let's get into it. Okay, so basic format before we get into things with your presentation. And I only set, or talk about this because it's a nice little setup. You have your title page. You're going to have an introduction where you essentially state your purpose of the presentation and you're going to have a conclusion which essentially sums this slide up right here. And just to set myself up again a little bit is you'll see in our purpose uh, this really nice, I don't know, animation I like to add to it sometimes. So you could do something along the lines of like when you're discussing your purpose, like we're going to talk about objective one and have a nice thing, you know, it'll appear as you talk about it. And then you're going to talk about objective two. And then another click, you're going to talk about objective three. And again, we're doing this because in our conclusion, we basically want to add this. We want to do this exact thing, but we're going to add a nice check to these boxes as we talk about them. So let's get started. Now, the first thing you want to do, obviously, is getting your check mark, which in itself can be kind of weird. So let's uh, find it. It's in the, got to go to the insert tab. And I think what makes it so weird is you have to go to your, you, you can only insert a check mark in a text box, uh, which is kind of interesting. So let's go back to the insert tab and it's hiding in this symbols section right here. And I'm obviously in it, but if you have never opened this up, I think you start in normal text or Latin text. I don't know. I, I can't exactly remember, but uh, where we're going to find the check mark is in wingdings. And I mean, there's so many of these things that there could be more. I don't even know, or that as, as in the check mark could be hiding in one of these other ones. I have no idea, but I know for sure it's in Wingding. So let's go there. We're gonna scroll to the bottom, and here it is. It's hiding at the very last little part of this. We're gonna insert it and close. And there we go. We've got our check mark progress. And let's go ahead and make this a little bigger. It's pretty small. Uh, that looks pretty good. Let's just kind of put this somewhere. And the next thing we're going to do is create the box where the check is supposed to go in. It's a check box, right? So we're still in the insert tab. We're going to go to shapes here. And we're going to insert a rectangle, otherwise known as a box. Go ahead and draw that box right over your check mark. There we go. Uh, it's hiding it, but have no fear. We can go to shape fill. Hit no fill. And also while we're here, we're going to go to Shape Outline. Just make it a little more thick. You know what I'm saying, guys? A little more thick? Anyway, enough of that. Let's just make clean this up a little bit. Yeah, that looks okay. Maybe maybe make the check, box, or check mark a little bigger. I think that's a good call. Uh, yeah, perfect. And we're going to go back to insert because we want to let them know it's objective one, obviously. So we're going to go back, create a text box, let everyone know this is objective one in case you forgot or forgot how to spell. I think I have this at like 40, 44. Yeah, 44 looks good. Okay, cool. So we've got our box and we're already, we're, we're making some good progress here. So. I'm fairly new to coding, and something I've learned is how important Command C and Command V can be. They're uh, very useful <laughs> in the world. Well, I mean, I guess it's other than coding, we're doing it right here in PowerPoint. Uh, one thing to always remember, though, is to change these. Clearly, if you're making a real presentation, you wouldn't forget to. Uh, you know how to state your <laughs> your purpose or your conclusion because uh theoretically you're you know like practicing and reviewing you would think you know because again we're you know we're, we're great students we're great professionals let's line that one up that is well, that one is looking a little wank wonky uh yeah that looks fine let's copy that check mark and again we could obviously go and create these one by one but for continuity's sake, uh, it's probably best to just Command C and Command V. And speaking of continuity, I think in any normal situation, I would just have duplicated this slide so the objectives and the boxes look exactly the same. 
but again, if I just did that, uh, we wouldn't learn anything, right? What's the point of that? Okay, cool. So we have got our, we've got our boxes, we've got the checks, we've got our objective stated, and we've got the check boxes. Not just the boxes, not just the checks. We got the check box. So we're talking about making it look nice, though. You know, cause cause this looks good. You know, this looks good. But come on, we're we're you know we're 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 trying to improve our presentation. We want we want great. We we're not we don't settle for just good. So let's go and add those nice little animations. I'm gonna click this. You know, little objective one. We're gonna do a fade in. And I feel a little silly because in a previous video I talked about how the appear function was essentially the only professional animation. And, you know, guys, I'll admit it, I can be wrong. You know, I'm wrong sometimes. Uh, the fade also works in some situations. And you know what? Who am I to say that any of these other animations don't work in, in certain situations? So, to each their own. I mean, I wouldn't be using split anytime soon or fly in. Uh, but, hey, you know, if, if that's what you're into and it's in the right situation, by all means, go for it. So we're going to go to the animation pane because we're, we, we obviously want these to appear in a particular way. And this is where we're going to manage that. And if you hover over these particular ones, a little text box is going to sh uh, appear to let you know what you're looking at. This is obviously text box 48, objective 1. We have rectangle 47. And then we have text box 46, and it's just a little dash. Uh, clearly, this is going to be our check box. This is objective 1, and this is the rectangle we inserted. So... We want objective one and this rectangle to show up at the same time because we want to talk about it and then we want this check mark to appear. So let's go in here, let's click the rectangle and we're going to hit, uh, we're going to click start with previous. And now you'll see that these are both under the one tab right here. So they're going to appear at the same time followed by our check mark. And we're going to quickly add in these animations for these other ones. And, you know, as I say it, you know, maybe one day I'll be able to find a way to, uh, uh, you know, to add the fly in animation. Maybe I, I should make that a, uh, make that a goal of mine. But, uh, <laughs> I wouldn't hold my breath, guys. Who knows? Who knows? I don't know. Never say never, because I, you know, I can be wrong. All right, so let's get that added in. Okay, cool. So let's take a look at it. You know, actually, let's to get the full effect. Let's go back to the uh, the main title page. So let's present. You know, let's let's do a hypothetical. Your per, hypothetical, excuse me. You're presenting. You know, you have your title page. You're a great student. You're a great professional. We already talked about this. You're gonna click, and you're gonna be pumped for this. You know, because of course you're gonna you're gonna do a great job of this presentation. You're gonna state your purpose. You know, we're gonna be, we're gonna be talking about this. We're gonna talk about objective one. We're gonna talk about objective two. And you know, we're going to talk about objective three. And you're going to go through the meat of your presentation. And then you're going to hit your conclusion. And you know what? You're going to be like, remember objective one? I do. Bam. We talked about it. You remember objective two, right? Oh, yeah. We talked about it. Check. Objective three? You already know. Boom. Check. And you know what? You're going to kill it from that point. And you're done. And there's your check boxes. Super cool. Super fun. I had a good time making this one. If you guys like this one or want to see more stuff like this, or if you don't like this kind of stuff and you want something else, please let me know. Like the video, dislike the video, comment, I don't know, whatever whatever kids do these days on YouTube or uh, whatever, you know, just do whatever or don't. Thanks for watching, though. Um, and for all those people who are out there about to give a presentation, best of luck to you. I know you're going to kill it. If I helped even a little bit. Uh, and then I did my purpose. Anyway, guys, from wherever you're watching, thank you all so much. Have a good rest of your day, morning, or evening. And I'm out. Bye.